What's up everyone, I'm Alexis from AMZ Scout. In this video, we're going to do a short tutorial using the AMZ Scout basic extension. So let's get started. And right now I've just brought up the Google Chrome page. My homepage just happens to be the Google page. And I'm just feeling a little bit lazy, so I'm gonna click on the AMZ Scout basic extension and it's going to bring me to an Amazon page. Now right now it's on the interesting finds page. You can click the home page here, but I'm just gonna take advantage of the fact that the extension works on absolutely any Amazon page. Now, as you can see here, there's a ton of information and we're just gonna go through all of it. Now, every seller likes to organize their data a specific way. Maybe they have certain parameters that they look for in products. And we have two ways you can organize that data. You can hit options and choose your columns or you can come over here to filters and fill in those filters. And then when you fill in those parameters, anything within those parameters, those are the products that will show up here. So we're just gonna go through this. We have number of results, average monthly revenue, average sales rank, average price, and average reviews. Now these are all just so you can quickly come in, see just the average of the niche. Right now, this niche that we're looking at are the interesting finds for, I believe, the fun category. So you can scroll across here. If you put your cursor over the product name, you are going to get the picture. If you click on the product, it's gonna take you to the listing page. Now it's kind of the same thing for this brand. If you click on the brand, it'll take you to their storefront on Amazon and show you all the products that they sell on Amazon. For the price, that's showing what it's selling for right now. You can click it and it will tell you the price history over the past 90 days. Where it's orange here, that means that Amazon has been a seller. So this is the minimum price that it's selling for. Over here you can see that there are three sellers. So this is the minimum price. And then you can see FBA fees. So if you click on this, a profit calculator pops up and you can put in your costs, additional costs, so like your shipping, and you get these numbers, profit per unit, estimated monthly profit, according to your costs and shipping, et cetera. Your margin impact. So obviously you want your margin to be the best as possible. Certain people and certain sellers look for specific uh, margin thresholds that they only sell over or between. You got the LQS. Now an LQS is the listing quality score. And it goes from one to a hundred. And if you put your cursor over it, it'll tell you what the particular listing does well. So this particular li particular listing um, has issues with, it doesn't have very many, or it has too many ratings, I apologize. And it's not an FBA seller. So the category, it'll display all the categories. You can organize them by category. And then it'll show the number of sellers, the rank, you can click this for the rank history. Again, it's a 90 day history, estimated monthly sales, estimated revenue, and then the number of reviews, date available from. So say if you're looking for a particular product that has a low number of reviews or the highest revenue, you can search that. You can also search it by estimated sales. Maybe you're looking to sell certain units per month amount. And then the date available from is great because it tells you how long it took for them to achieve a particular threshold. If we look over here, this travel passport is basically having an estimated revenues of about 40,000 selling well over 2,000 units. It does show the number of re revenues is very high, but it shows you how long it took for that particular product to achieve that. So that's about almost three years, two and a half years. Shows you the average rating, the weight of the product, and the seller. Now there's three different types of sellers. You have AMZ, FBA, or Merchant. Now AMZ is any Amazon seller. So you're looking at an Amazon warehouse or maybe they're just a seller and they're listed right here. 
the main seller is an FBA seller, or if they are a merchant. So we list it there. Now, if you have any more questions or concerns about using your extension, you can always go down here and click on the Facebook and it'll take you to the AMZ Scout Facebook homepage. You can also go over to here to this. And if you click that, there are videos available, Q and A's, et cetera. That gives you some background and can maybe just answer your question right there. So that is all I, all I have for you today. I hope you enjoyed this and found it useful. Make sure you hit that like button, hit the subscribe button, check out our blog, Facebook, and the rest of our YouTube videos for more on selling on Amazon. If you're thinking about upgrading or you just want to check out the basic extension or pro extension, I will put both of those links down below. Until next time, happy selling.